Hello, this is Bill Webb, aka Billy Indiana. Today I'm going to do an unboxing for a brand new arrival, just showed up on the porch today, and it is the latest Stonemeyer game, Apiary. So if you're curious to see what this game looks like up close, stay tuned. Well, as I said, this new game from Stonemeyer Games, Apiary, was designed by Connie Vogelman and art by Quanchai Moria. Uh, he did the art for quite a few games, but one that we've really enjoyed is The Spill. This, of course, has the one to five player game range, which is typical for Stonemeyer Games, 60 to 90 minutes, ages 14 and up, with the Automa solo work inside included. On the back, kind of a Simple approach here with the back of this design here, and there's quite a bit of lid lift on this. I think because of the storage mode, there's going to be some punch boards to go through that will eventually then fit inside of the uh, storage method or storage insert, I'm sure, of some sort. Um, but there's a long list of contents here on the side. And then it says, in a far distant future, humans no longer inhabit Earth. The cause of their disappearance, or perhaps their demise, is unknown, but their absence left a void ready to be filled by other another sentient species. Over the span of untold generations, one species of the humble honeybee evolved to fill the void. They grew in size and intelligence to become a highly advanced society. They call themselves Mellifera. In Apiary, each player controls one of 20 unique factions. Your faction starts the game with meager supplies, a hive, a few resources, and worker bees. A worker placement hive building challenge awaits you. Explore planets, gather resources, develop technologies, and create carvings to demonstrate your faction's strengths, measured in victory points, over one year's flow. However, the dearth quickly approaches and your workers can only take a few actions before they must hibernate. Can you thrive or merely survive? Each of your workers increases in strength, uh, increase in strength, improving action benefits and access. All right, so let's go ahead and get this plastic out of the way and uh, flip it over. We've got the edge game art there, ed edge box art. And we can see that one as well. There's another, if you like the vertical on this way, and then the other side, if you like it horizontal. All right. So here we go, let's see what's inside the box. Just a normal inside of the cover. We've got our game book, rule book, sorry, here uh, with standard. They've got the smaller size showing all the contents and the setup, game overview, gameplay details, worker retrieval, hibernation comb, action overview and action details, researching and growing, Converting and carving, summary of the resources, tile types, Queen's favorite track, end of game scoring. So 16 pages in all with a nice little summary of the different icons here on the back and some other things to take a look at here. We've got an appendix, I think just showing a, a summary of all the key words here and then all the key tiles, I'm guessing. Seed cards, tiles, and factions. And then we've got the Automa rulebook. And then the teaching guide. So looking forward to getting this one all figured out. All right, here is the first punch board. And so we can see some tiles oh, popping out right away. And there's the back. Uh, the tiles do pop out easily. They are, I think, standard thickness. Not as thick as a few games I've received recently, but definitely not thinner than normal. Um, so again, we've got some different docking mats and different hive tiles. All right. And then whew, we got lots of little pieces here on the side, all these little bees. And then more tiles. Let's see these just show that on the back. I think these probably have the same backing. Okay, some with the honeycomb, some with the lightning bolt. Some with some flowers there. I think these are the starter tiles that have this triplet shape that go on the hive mats. Lots of punch boards in this one. So hopefully they'll easily fit into the insert. Very nice art. Quanchai Moria, as we mentioned earlier. 
All right, and then it looks like these are the hive mats. So we've got the Langstraw. They just have a plain black back. The Log. Pop, the Poppleton. The War. The Skep. <laughs> All right. And then it looks like just a separating piece of cardboard there. We've got the four to five player board. And then I think on the other side, it's for two and three. Maybe one, two, and three. So here, yeah, one to one to three player boards is down here in the bottom right corner underneath the title apiary. Got the hibernation comb across the bottom. And then the research down in the bottom left, grow right above that. Explore up in the top left. Advance in the top middle. Carve in the middle middle. <laughs> And we got more advanced there at the top and convert on the far right. And then when we flip it over, I think it's going to be pretty much the same format. But just again, down here in the bottom, we can see this is the four to five player version of Apiary. Again, the honey hibernation comb, research, grow, explore, advance and carve in the middle section, convert, and then the rest of the advanced track there. So a nice big board. The board is very thick. Nice and sturdy. Looks like we've got some player aids here. So enough for five players. And then here, oh, maybe these are the starting pieces that go on the board. I haven't, I've watched a couple videos early on, but it's been a few weeks and I've played several other games since then. Um, so it says at game end, gain eight if frame is filled. These look to be just all the same. So yeah, we'll have to figure that out. I will have to figure that out. Got a couple baggies. I have so many extra baggies at this point, I'm kind of wishing they didn't send so many nowadays because I have tons of extras and usually the ones they send aren't the right size. So, <laughs> or at least not the way that I would store them. So here we've got our bees in the different colors. Look really cool. Just dump it there for now. And then, We've got more bees, and then here's the queen bee, and it's got a little stand in here in this baggie, which I'm hoping I won't have to take it apart every time. Hopefully we can just keep it together, although I think I remember seeing one video where they said they just preferred to leave it off the stand, so I don't know. We'll see. It comes The stand fits together pretty nicely, and it just easily comes off the B, but the stand felt nice and snug. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure the best way that is going to be in terms of storage. And I don't know what all these little inserts are for, but this one pulls out. And then we've got our cards here. Let's see if we can get this open. Feels like I can sense an edge there, but maybe not. Oh, here I can see it better. Must have just been seeing different kind of edge. All right, and we've got a couple different backs here. So we've got this back that has the kind of flower look to it. And then there's some end game scoring here on these. Looks like maybe all of them, all of them end game scoring. Okay. And then here I'm guessing these might be the Automa cards with this back. That's kind of typical looking for what we tip what we often see in the automa um like we got a little crack in the insert here insert just comes out easily as one whole piece again this separate little one that can fit there um and then we've got one more bag worth of stuff so what do we have in here we've got some little wooden cubes and then here it looks like we've got some honey pots. And then I think these might be pollen if I remember correctly. Oops, dropping all over the place. Looks like water droplets here. And then we've got I don't know if this is a little honeycomb. 
everything's nice and chunky pieces of wood. And then I'm not sure what these are. They're also gold. So we've got these gold, which kind of look like a honey pot to me. And then these, which just look like little Rolos, actually. <laughs> so I'm not sure what all these pieces are. I'll have to be looking that up and figuring it out. Uh, but that's what comes in the game of Apiary. I'm excited for this one. I've heard a lot of people really enjoying this. In fact, just earlier tonight was watching Man vs. Meeple, and they were doing kind of a March Madness sort of game against game for Essen releases. And this was included in and made it down to the final four, I think. So... Um, I mean, a lot of people have been pleasantly surprised with this game. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, hopefully I can get it to the game group in the next week or two. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing what comes in Apiary. If you did enjoy the video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. And it'd be terrific if you'd choose to subscribe to the channel as well. If you have any questions about the game, I do look forward to getting it to the table hopefully very soon. Leave those questions down in the comments. If you've already got your copy and had a chance to play, maybe you got an advanced copy, or maybe your order shipped earlier than mine, Leave those comments down below too. Tell me what you liked or didn't like about this game, Apiary by Connie Vogelman, her first design, I believe. All right, thanks for watching. As always, this is Billy Indiana signing off. Uh -oh.